Hello, I am Mr. McChesney and I made this video to help you better understand how your student is being graded in this course using standard space grading. So if you go to Google Classroom, you or your student, and you click on the Classwork tab, if you scroll down or click on Start of Year School Docs, in that area, there are the standards for integrated science. So you can either click on this posting here, or you can click on this here. They should be the same. When you click on that, it will bring up document that tells you all the different standards we've got in this course for the entire year on different chemistry topics and different physics topics, along with some how are they doing in class being on task and practicing deliberate practice and making full efforts on things. Uh, also, there's a link to SBG book where most of their great information is stored. If you click on that link, it will take you to this website. And you click log in. When you type the username, which is your student's email address, type it as all lowercase. So in this case, I have a uh, student account set up. So you can see what it looks like when you log in. This is the screen you see on the far left for Foggy Bogs. There is a individual, each standard, how they are performing in the standard. If you hover over the question mark, it can tell you the standard that's listed in another document. Green means good, yellow means could it be improved and red means needs to work on basically red light green light uh, yellow light each bar you see represents a time they were checked on this standard and um, it lists all of the possible standards in the case of this course for this fake student we have a number of standards have been checked multiple times some more than others and each standard has a way that it is calculated which I'll show you in a moment. In the center column is individual assessments. So in this case, we had a first nine weeks assignment that included these two standards, a first quarter check one that included these standards. Worksheet five had these standards on it. You can see the score your child earned on that standard. And if you wanna know the overall grade, which should match the grade listed in Infinite Campus, depending on how quickly I'm able to update the grades in SBG book and transfer them to Infinite Campus, Currently, I'm dealing with some colorectal cancer, which is uh, zapping my energy after school due to the radiation and chemotherapy. So I will try to upgrade date those grades as often as possible. But if you want to know what it is in SPG book, click that overall grade in the top right corner, and it will tell you out of 100 points what score your child has. Uh, if you want to know specifically, like if we look at LB1, if you click on the 10 for his score, and if you look at this, You've got some red and yellow scores, but it's saying this person's perfect, 10 out of 10. If we click on it, it will show you every single time they have been assessed. And at the top, it tells you here's the calculation method. We take the average of the highest score that's ever happened and the latest score that's ever happened. And those have to be two different scores or unique scores. So in this case, his most recent is listed at the top. Foggy got a 10 out of 10 on the first nine weeks. And his, most, his highest other grade could either be from Worksheet 5 or Lab 1. So we're going to take 10 plus 10 to get us 20 and divide by 2 to get an average. And that gives us an average of 10. So the 5, the 8, the 8, and the 8, all these earlier scores where Foggy was not able to demonstrate full knowledge on his standard have dropped away. I think this better represents how we as humans learn through time where we start out not knowing everything or not being an expert at something and show improvement. Um, this also lets us be more granular in how we do things as we can look and see Foggy really needs to work on LB4, LB5 and Habits of Mind 1. Foggy's doing pretty good in the other spot so if foggy needs a reassessment we should focus on those three red areas and try to improve them and if foggy gets a most recent score that's higher than a five which is what they've got here so if i click on this i should see his first quarter check habits of mind one that's a five that's not very good five out of ten so if he does a reassessment which it says he does deliberate practice to improve his understanding of physics by being involved in class getting extra help completing homework, practicing AP problems. In this case, it was an AP class. And 
doing the classwork to the best of his ability. So part of that is like, how on task are you in class? That seems like that's something that a student can control themselves. So this is just a little introductory uh, video about the use of SPG book. Hopefully it is helpful for you. And if you have questions, please reach out to me, Kevin McChesney, uh, and I will uh, better explain it, hopefully. Thanks for listening and have a good night.